Hey now everyone, Vegetable here. Welcome back to Bloodborne. It's been a little while. Um, I actually fell ill. Um, caught one of these nasty bugs going around. Um, and what really wasn't able to record or even play much for a little bit. Um, but I'm finally back in the saddle and ready to go and take on Ludwig. Um, it's about that time. Um, we're going to do it with Valter, so that's going to make it a little more interesting. Um, of course, it'll make Ludwig harder, which <laughs> Ludwig doesn't really need to be made harder. Um, I always thought he was one of the harder bosses myself. Um, so <laughs> on top of being not in my best of health, um, I've been kind of dreading this fight, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but let's see. I think... We're all set. Um, let me make sure we've got the Carol rune set because that's important to, in terms of summoning Valter for this fight. All right, so I've got my stamina. I've got increases arcane defense. Yeah, that's probably good for the second phase. First phase is the most brutal one though. Oh my God. Um, all defense types. Um, yeah, probably, probably. And impurity for the league. Yes, that's good. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, that takes care of it. Um, all right, we should be all set. Let's go ahead and, you know what? On second thought, I just had an, a second idea. Let me see. I think I have, I do have two anti-clockwise metamorphoses. And I'm gonna use them both. Instead, I'm gonna keep Arcane Lake, but instead of this one, I'm going to drop in the other anti-clockwise to have even more stamina. Yes. Let's go. Let's go check this out. So yeah, um Ludwig is a tough fight. Um uh, very very wicked first phase kind of crazy he's all over the place um and he's got a, a charge attack that is just brutal it's similar to the uh watchdog of the old lords and it will just run you down um and then we'll have Valter in there who he's formidable but he's gonna make glidwig stronger of course so let's be sure to get her So we're not dealing with any eye-stealing shenanigans. Oh my god, stupid birds. And birds do not sound like that, by the way. Okay, let's see. Oh, well that's nice. I don't have to heal then. But I am going to do this. This. And there we go. Our friend gives us some vials every single time. All right, Valter should be right here. And if we did everything right, he will not have his helmet. And he does not. Because we've got it. It's cool to see a long haired dude in the game. That's how mine would be. Mine actually is kind of like that. Only longer and older. But still. Okay, here we go. You ready, Valter? This should be fun. And by fun, I mean terrifying and super scary.
me. Yeah, got me. Okay, that was the charge. Uh-oh, he's on the ceiling. Here he comes. Okay. Woo. Okay, watch it, watch it. Back up. Oof. Almost got me on that one. Hang in there, Valter. Okay. More predictable, but high damage. Come on. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, big, big, big AOE. Okay, danger zone. One more. You did it, Valter. Well done, sir. All right. Okay. Not too shabby. That actually went all right. Okay, I did our little friend survive. I don't think he did. We were fighting really close to him over here. I think he's dead. This little guy that talks at the beginning of the fight will sometimes still be around. Uh, but it looks like he didn't make it this time. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's Scepter. Okay. Light the lamp. And talk to Ludwig. Tell me. Good hunter of the church, have you seen the light? Are my church hunters the honorable Spartans? I hoped they would be. Now, the only reason I got that dialogue is because I'm wearing church garb, and he recognizes me as a member of the church. Um, I can tell him yes, and he will be somewhat satisfied in death. I can tell him no, and he'll be devastated. Um, in this case, I do believe that Gaius Helen Mahayam would have some respect for this figure and not want him to suffer, therefore. Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now, 
I may sleep in peace. Even in this darkest of nights, I see the moonlight. Awesome. And I believe this is the Holy Moonlight Sword. And now he'll sleep. Of all the ways this can go, that's probably the most satisfying, I imagine, depending on your, your, uh, your uh, inclination. Um, if you do not have Hunter's garb on, he will basically go insane and, and revert to being a horse, um, a horse. Um, if you tell him no um, while wearing church garb, uh, that uh, his followers did not, you know, stay, stick to the light and do the right thing, then he's just absolutely devastated and tortured in, in his slumber. Um, and then you have this. So, um, now, Simon will show up here. Um, and before moving on, it probably makes more sense to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna run to the Hunter stream real quick, reload the area. And then we'll talk to Simon. I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, so I actually did do a little bit of research because I <laughs> was gonna mess this up and make this take a really long time, unnecessarily. Um, so to get Simon to appear, I need to kill the head of Ludwig, the slumbering head. He's still sleeping. And he's having good dreams because I told him something good. So, and this is definitely something Gaius Helen Mahayam would do. Um, so, let's see if we can just put him out of his misery. There we go. That did it. Okay. Now. We'll reload the area. And Simon should be here. And the reason I'm doing this here instead of in the next video is because in the next one, we'll, we'll pretty much just roll right into some new stuff. Um, I may go ahead and do this little hallway here to wrap it up because the next bit is going to be big. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, so the next part is going to be a pretty large section. Actually, it's a really large section, and there's a lot going on. Um, so, having some of this stuff taken care of in this video. Yeah, there we go. There's Simon. All right. What's up, buddy? A tragic figure, but he will shame himself no longer. He died with his ideals untarnished. He was a true hero, and earned that much at least. A true hero, you say? Do you know why the hunters are drawn to this nightmare? Because it sprouted from their very misdeeds. Things that some would rather keep secret. A pitiful tale of petty arrogance, really. High time someone exposed the whole charade. High time someone exposed the whole charade, eh? Now, now. Go on ahead. Hmm. You seek nightmares and the secrets within, do you not? I do. Anything else, Simon? Now, now. Go on ahead. You seek nightmares and the secrets within, do you not? I do. Very well. Okay. So, um, we'll head on down to this just next little bit here. Um, there's not a whole lot going on here. Destroyed. Colored by blood, but always clear of mind. 
sprout onto the church. Be sir, cousin, cousin, shackled. Only the true blade of the church. Yes. Okay, there's a couple enemies in the hallway here, and there's prisoners. Um, and at least one of these rooms has got... Yeah, here we go. Behind him is a guy with a gun in a wheelchair. Yeah, be careful. Oh, God. Kill Ludwig, Ludwig and get killed by these guys. Alright. Ouch. There we go. Yes, yes. Sorry. Didn't mean to skip, but I need to pick the item up, sir. Okay, yeah, most of these are locked until we get a key. Um, I didn't even check his, but it is locked. Um, that is Hashimura, I think. I think it's his name. Um, this is a special cell with a special prisoner. Are you a hunter? Well, that's very odd. Do you hear the toll of the bell? I hear nothing. The beast you seek will not be found here. Go back to your heart, and if you have the chance, put this knife behind you. Hmm. Places better left untouched. Secrets better left alone. Only a fool. Some places are better left untouched, and some secrets are better left alone. Only fools to brazenly roam. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right. Now, he should invade in four spots um, as we progress. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, all right. I think it's this one's got an enemy in it. Nope. This one. Ah, maybe it's one that's locked. It must be. Is it here? No? Ah, the Fist of Garatia. That's a fist weapon. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, this is a little bit of a fight here. A little bit of a fight. There's two hunters in here. They must be dealt with. And then there's also... Some rats back here. that will make things difficult if you have to back up. Which is entirely possible. Okay. Two hunters. One of them is using arcane. The other one, I believe, is using... Where are you? There you are. Gotta watch out for the ranged attacks from the arcane one. Young, 
That is, uh... Oh, what's her name? <sighs> oh, what was her name? The, uh... Cleric Beast thing. Oh, what's her name? I can't believe I can't think of her name. Oh, no. Okay. Um... There we go, there's one. Okay, what is that daggone prayer? Why can't I remember her name? Yeah, it'll be edited in there, don't worry. Man, my brain is just, ugh. Okay, that's pretty much it here. Um, well, we end up back here. So don't forget this area. We will see this again, but I don't think there's anything else to grab here. I think we got it all. One last quick run through, just in case I miss something on a bed. Nope. All right, now this is pretty cool. If you did not grab the eye pendant back there with Lawrence, way back at the beginning of the uh, Hunter's Nightmare, then you have to go back there before you can do this because you need it to do this. And here we are at the next section. Now, Simon might be up here. He should be. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. This is the research hall, and this is the next section, and it is huge. Um, well, huge. It's very big. It's quite large. Um, Simon will show up here. And actually, there is one more thing I would like to show you. Um, there is something underneath this elevator. So what I'm going to do is ride it back down get down to the bottom, and then show you how to get the item that's down below. Um, I will see you in just a sec. Okay, so here we are at the bottom. What I'll do is I'll trigger it to go up and then hop off. And here we have Another elevator. Lawrence's skull. Interesting. Okay, 
And then we just reactivate it and head on back up. So here we are back at the top of the elevator, right there by the lamp. Um, this is the entrance to the research hall, the next section, which, like I said, is very big. It's it's not huge, but it's it's pretty big. Um, it'll probably be a pretty long video to get through it all. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Simon will, should be here when I reload the area, um, and it'll make sense to go ahead and talk to him right before we go into it. So I'll leave that for the next one. Um, but yeah, we'll stop this one here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you're having a great day out there today. Um, I am stoked to be back in Bloodborne, and that actually went really well. Um, Ludwig has given me a lot of trouble before, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, this, this was a good weapon for him. Uh, did a lot of damage to him. I hope to see you in the next video, where we'll move forward in the research hall and see what is beyond. Thanks again. Have a great day. Veg out.